Куда, сын, на работе я одна? Куда мне бежать? Куда ховатися? Куда скажите, будь ласка? Ой, боже мой, боже мой. Shelling in Mariupol in southeastern Ukraine started on Thursday, confirming what most Ukrainians had feared. Residents rushed to leave the city after Russia declared war on the country. And it's no longer just the separatist East under attack. Explosions have been heard across the country. Including the capital. Мы не знаем, где это было, но было слышно хорошо. Проснулись от таких звуков. When the shelling began, air raid sirens rang out across Kiev. President Zelensky called on Ukrainian citizens to remain calm and urged them to stay indoors. Сьогодні від вас, від вас, від кожного з вас потрібно спокій. По можливості залишайтесь, будь ласка, вдома. Ми працюємо. Армія працює. Працює весь сектор безпеки оборони України. While some are following orders, like those taking refuge in a school's bomb shelter in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and others sheltering in a metro station, some are fleeing their homes as long queues of cars line the road out of Kiev. This Kharkiv resident said he was hit by what felt like broken glass after an explosion shattered the windows of his house. Скачил с дивана, побежал, ну, думал идти, мать будить, короче, и вот прилетело, услышал за спиной, ну, как взрыв, я думал, где-то рядом рвануло стекла, потому что повыбивали, потому что, ну, камушками по ногам сзади дало, думал идти, осколки стекла. His neighbor was rushed away in an ambulance. Его скорая увезла, ранение, потому что левой ноги, я не знаю, осколок, не осколок, но крови много было. Just a few hours after Putin issued an order to invade, Zelensky responded by imposing martial law. He issued a plea for all citizens prepared to defend the country to come forward. Кожен, хто має бойовий досвід і може приєднатися до оборони України, повинен негайно прибути до відповідних центрів комплектації. But against the might of Europe's largest army, a newly formed and inexperienced Ukrainian militia will need significant support from its allies. The West have said that they will respond with economic and military support, as well as sanctions. Shortly after four o'clock this morning, I spoke to President Zelensky of Ukraine to offer the continued support of the UK because our worst fears have now come true and all our warnings have proved tragically accurate. Reports of casualties are coming in thick and fast. And with every moment spent attempting to find a diplomatic solution, the death toll continues to rise.